This is Natalie from 9.arrow from the Netherlands and I'm here with the next part of the um, altered book series I'm doing um, as requested by most of you uh, in the Facebook group I posted something what uh, they would like to see and the majority um, said they wanted to see an altered book and I have previous videos um, I'm not sure if I made an actual series from it a playlist maybe I should make a playlist um, and um, I did a lot of things already and also did a lot of things um, I, I didn't do a lot of things yet but today I thought let me um, work on this piece um, I said I wanted to create a little booklet over here and the reason why I'm doing that now because if I know the booklet is in I know how much room I have left over here to make more bulky things or less bulky things because with a altered book um, you always end up it's almost impossible um, well for me <laughs> to have it like so when it's finished it's always a little bit like that or sometimes even worse um, but yeah I thought well if I just put the chunky bits in first maybe I have more control over how wide the alligator mouth is going to be that was the whole um, thought behind it um, so what I want to do is um, turn this into a back cover of the little booklet and these pages put these together um, I'm starting from this side so in case I do need to take a paper out I can do it over here and not on this piece because obviously I can't take it out because I use the um, the medical tape on that And before I go to glue everything together, uh, I thought it would be nice if I if I do a little inking um, before I start. Oh, it's over here. It's been a while since I carved it, so I couldn't find it. Do a little ink over here. I'm not sure how far the image is going to be, but it's best to ink before I glue on uh, papers uh, than I ink when I ink afterwards. It's it's much difficult to ink. Also, this one I'm just going to leave. Um, I wanted to do some stamping on here, so we are going to do that. Um, I really need to figure out. I'm going to do it on this uh, stamping platform. I think that is working the best because it's. I'm not going to put it under my bigger one. So I have different stamps. I also have these. I haven't used these yet. Leaf prints. But I wanted to have some script over here. So let's do that. Well, I like this too. So 
going to be like so. Oh, before I stamp, do I need to ink a little? I think I do. No, as it's very white. Sure, of the stamping Ooh, will show. Oh, I always struggle with these, they always fall off. <laughs> it's me. Okay, this is not, not going to be as planned. Maybe I have because I oh, I have an almost in, in empty, empty. Empty ink pad, maybe that's the, the issue. Okay, is this is working? So I think it's the ink. but also the way I positioned the stamp. It's not perfect, it doesn't have to be perfect, it has to be almost perfect. And I'm just stamping on sections that I want to use on the tape, if that works. Maybe this works better. Because it's flexible <laughs> and I also have this one Okay, it didn't work. <laughs> Good video. <laughs> this worked. Okay, let me... Maybe I need to put something else over here. I'm going to do this one again. So we have the stamping and of course it looks weird now, um, but I will manage to make it pretty again. Um, I do want to ink a little bit over here in case if I lose something over uh, and it will not um, be exactly to the tape, then I have a little bit of inking covering up the white, if that makes any sense. Uh, I hope I'm explaining well, but that's the that's the idea. And I found out that when I use my sheet like so, covering the tape,
And now let's see if we can find a fun image to put on the front and on the back. Um, not on the back, on the front and on the inside. I'm just going through the whole pile of images. I like these. I like this one too. But I like this one too. So, okay. I think... Oh, my phone is still on. Sorry. So, sorry, I had my phone still on. Um, still debating. So I'm going to take this one. I also need to ink with yellow, I forgot. That gives me time to think about the image that I want to put on. I think this is a little bit too yellowish. I can also fun or a neutral one so I can put something on top maybe that's better this I'm going to leave it like it is uh, it will be okay I can even fix this The inside. I think for the inside, mm, I want to have like a neutral paper. Just going to ink. Uh, this is from another kit. I think it is Autumn Wonders. This paper is in. If I'm correct. But um, I have show and tell videos from all the kits that I released. And they are in the show and tell section um, playlist. So if you want to see each page uh, for each kit you can hop over to that playlist and you can see everything so I'm not sure if this needs to be like this I think it needs to be like so I don't know but we're going to paste it like so um, it needs something at the back to make it a little bit more covered over here but I thought of um, turning these into little strips. And glue them underneath. Let me see, do I want it like so? Yeah, that can work. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I glued on the strips. 
and I want to put these on like so but I'm still debating if I'm going to sew around it or not I don't think I am because I will be adding things like pockets uh, on there So I'm going to glue this panel down on the left side and I'm going to glue the other one down on the right side. And I also need to cut off a little strip on this side. This one is not straight. So we have this now. And you probably wonder, okay, how are you going to make a booklet in here? Um, well, I'm going to show you. But I'm debating if I want to round the corners over here. I think I do, yeah. So here we go. think I can actually no I can't it's too thick so no rounded corners for me then I'm going to ink This is very interesting with the script and um, brown paper and a beige. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I want to add a little uh, booklet in here and I want to attach it with an elastic. I usually make elastic bindings. Uh, I'm not sure if I can show you. Yeah, I can. I have a little folio over here that I made from an Amazon packaging, an envelope that I altered a little bit um, but in here is a little booklet with an elastic binding as you can see Where is it? the middle, I want the middle here and then you can take pages out and put pages in um, but I also uh, do elastic bindings in my journals uh, most of the times and also incorporate the elastic from the binding in the tassel um, but I have videos on how I made the elastic binding several videos in junk journals the romantic rose is a good um, video where I show the binding and also with the buttons on the spine but I'm going to make the exact same binding type in this little booklet. 
still a little fun project this one a lot of fun making this but i'm going to grab some elastic i have several colors um not sure which color i'm going to use i have green and i have beige also have black darker green beige over here brown but the brown one is a very thick one not sure if i want that one i think this is a little bit thicker yeah um but i'll probably go for this one so i have the elastic um sometimes i put it in here and tie it over here but in this case, I want to try, not sure if it's going to work, and place it on like so. But of course, it's going to move over here, I assume. First, let me try to create... A binding and then we will see how to fix it because I can always um, secure the elastic on this side when I glue on uh, something on the spine also I'm not sure how tight it has to be I'm just trying um, to see how it goes and the good thing is you can always take it off. Uh, you could also use like twine or um, how is it called? Wax thread. That will work too. But I'm afraid it will cut into the, the spine. If we put it like so, we have this on the outside. Maybe I need to make it more tight. Um, and I think... It is going to hold very well. I could also decide to reinforce this a little. But for now, I'm going to leave it like it is. And the idea is, and most of you already know, but I'm going to show you anyway, is to put in uh, like papers. This is printed on tracing paper. Um, but the idea is the same. Put in pages like so. Also, I have one of these, but I need to back these or print over these. I'm not going to fold every one, but you, you get uh, how it's going to look. It's going to look when you have this paper in. And if you fold it over and you put it in multiple papers, you have a booklet. But like I said, I do need to print on the papers that I'm going to put in this. Because normally I back these with coffee dyed paper. But if I do that now, it's going to be more bulky. So I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm going to print them with some um, neutral paper papers that I have, digitals, and I'm going to print this on the back so I have a backing for all these pretty papers. Um, so yeah, we have the booklet over here with the binding and like I said, um, we can make sure it doesn't move because if I put like a reinforce reinforcement piece over here, like a piece of cardstock, um, and you tie this the right amount of tension so it has the right amount of tension you can glue this so reinforcement glue this and put like fabric over and then you have a little bump but you you don't see that i do that all the time you can also uh, glue it over here or you can also have the knot that's an option too on the inside of the booklet that's an option too so it's over here 
if you don't want it on the outside but we can still move this around um, so this is what we got now so we have a booklet here and like I said I am going to print on the back side of a few papers that I want to put in so next time I will have them ready is there something else we can do today I don't think um, okay we have things over here maybe I need to fold a few more pockets that's cute too side tuck spots I think I want a writing spot over here I'm going to leave these maybe I can turn these into side tuck spots can we do that I don't want to cut out over here so maybe this needs to be a writing spot this needs to be a side tuck spot but I can I can create that a little um, I want to do I want a notch? yeah I want a notch so I'm going to do this so I know these will be a side pocket and I can also decide to make them a little bit smaller and have a smaller side tuck spot so I think okay then I have writing paper writing paper writing paper or decorate paper I don't know yet maybe with uh, a pocket from the kit on it a side tuck spot writing paper writing paper this side so we got this covered this is covered and the only thing we need to think out okay this is going to be a side tuck too and then we have this we have a lot still uh, blank is this this is double I'm starting to think if I maybe should take out some pages because it's a lot then do we have more no I think then we have everything covered and then we can put in the hinges um, but I think it's best for next time if I just have all the little ephemera pieces cut out and then we can work and embellish at the same time because um, yeah I'm having a hard time thinking everything up front uh, this can be a side talk this can be yeah I figured this out but over here I I do need to see the papers and the embellishment that I have in the kit so I can decide what to do uh, I do think I want to make like smaller pieces in here but I also have like um, CD envelopes the sleeves that I want to put in so I need a spot for that too so yeah so it's a shorter video this time, um, but I did show you how to make a binding and it's not difficult. Well, I think it's not difficult because when I normally make a binding, I put them in, in the eyelets, but I'm not going to poke eyelets in here. And the idea of the binding is it's going to keep this piece together. So this is going to be a little bit more secure. So that's that's the whole thought behind it. So yeah, I hope you liked the video. I hope you liked the series. Um, if you need um, well more information or you don't understand anything I did or I have a question, you can ask down below. And yeah, if you liked the video, leave a thumbs up, like, subscribe. And just so you know, subscribing, liking and leaving a comment doesn't cost you anything. And it would really, really help my channel. Um, I have set a goal. I normally don't set a goal. And 
I don't know why I do it, but I, I, I want it to try to get to 5k at the end of the year. And well, I still have a few weeks left. So yeah, if you are interested in this channel and like the things I show and want to see more, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I can use all the support um, to, to reach my goal. Um, and if I don't make it, it's okay too. Um, um, but I thought it was fun to have a little goal set up for myself and work towards that goal. And when I, well, when I have it, I will be really happy. <laughs> um, but when I don't have it, I will be still be happy. But I really would appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. And thanks everybody for the nice comments you left and the suggestions. And um, you all, I really like seeing how, um, well, apparently I'm making a good, clear um, video to show you how to do an altered book. And I was really afraid if I was going to mess up because I always go from left to right. And um, But yeah. I, I'm I'm so happy I, I do well. So thank you very much for all those kind comments. Well, this is really it. Stay safe, stay creative. Greetings from the Netherlands. And I hope to see you the next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.